Hello and welcome to my e-listen. I'm your guru and in this video I will tell you how to record a macro and use it in Excel. It's a very very easy thing. Let's first understand what is a macro. Well macro is like a tape recorder. Alright. Wherein you can press the record button and then say or speak or sing anything and whatever is being said or sung gets recorded in the tape recorder and you can then play it back. It will play it back in the manner, the way you spoke or sung. Similarly, Excel can also act as a tape recorder and record your steps and then replicate them for you in one click. For example, this is a data, correct? So I need to go ahead and say, for example, this is a data which has these decimal points. Example, all right. Now, I want to go ahead and remove these decimal points. So I will click over here and to decimal points. Then I will go to currency to give it a dollar symbol. Correct. And again, I will remove these decimal points. Then I will go ahead and say, give it a border like this. All right. Now, this, this took five or six actions, correct? But I can replicate this in just one click. How? By recording a macro. To record a macro, you need to have the developer tab enabled. I am using Excel 2016 and to enable the de developer tab in it, you need to go to file, options and customize ribbon. And from here, usually this is how it looks unchecked. So you need to check it and the developer tab would be available. In the earlier versions, in 2007 version, when you go to options, you will see a popular section over here. And in the third section over there, you will find developer tab. You just need to activate it. So once I am in developer tab, I get this option to record a macro. So I'm clicking on this cell. All right. And I will take a few actions. I'll I clicked on the cell. I'm clicking on record macro and I'm giving it a name, say my macro underscore macro. And I can store it in a personal workbook so that it will work on all my Excel files or a new workbook or this workbook. I'm just using this workbook as of now. Will do formatting. Okay, this is what I'm writing. You can write a very detailed description. Click OK. And now it says stop recording. So that means the recording has started. I'm clicking on home. Now I'm going to give it a dollar symbol. Then I'm going to remove the decimal points and then I'm going to give it a tick outside or say a this board. Now this, this was the action that I wanted to do. Now I'm going to developer again and stop recording. The recording has stopped. All right. Now this is what I did. So now I'm going to click on this cell now. See the power of macros. And I'm going to developer tab again and going to macros. This is the macro I recorded. I will run it. See in one click it changed it to dollar symbol, remove the decimals and put the line over here. I can do it for all these at once. Go to my select this, go to macros, go to run. See, isn't this cool? Well, this is how we use macros. In the further videos, I'll tell you more about the power of macros and you can follow this series for more videos. I hope you like this video. If you did, please go ahead and click on this like button over here and if you have a question you can mention it in the comments and please click on this red button to subscribe to my channel and it will make me extremely happy it will also make you informed as and when a new video is launched so i hope you like this video so see you in the next video until then this is your guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning